Hey folks, how y'all doing there? I'm making a video. We just got the old shingles off the old roof of the solar shed and we're replacing rotten plywood. A whole complete transformation. This is the north side of the roof. And I'm marking that's more rotten plywood over there. I'm gonna put all new gutters on here. Look at that, that's rotten. Oh yeah, it's time for a new roof. I, I I played that one right. Played my cards right. Don't want a bad roof when you get all that expensive equipment on your uh, on your on you know where your controls and all that kind of stuff are. But yeah, man, they're doing nothing but ice and water shield and everything. So they're doing a heck of a job, and they're putting ice and water shield. Right here, Grace, ice and water shield. That really helps out in this part of the country. Plus, when you're putting solar panels, putting the uh, lag bolts to the rafters, it'll help seal everything, too. But yeah, man, my, my buddy's getting in the solar. And it's a good thing. All right, I'll take you around to the other side, let you see what's going on. All right. And this, my buddy's construction company. As for JJ, the solar roofing, everything. IQ Construction. There he is. Garage additions, hardscapes, drainage systems, excavating, does it all. But yeah, man, I recommend him to anybody. There it is up close. All right. To give you on that but but anyway get back to this the project looks completely different than it y'all I put that roof on originally back in 97 rebuilt the build built the building in 97 I'm gonna take you to the south side now where the solar panels were all right I'll bear with me Okay, folks, this is part one. I mean, this is of a series of the videos. I'm just going along. I'm, I'll make it one long video instead of like part one, part two, part three. Um, it might be part two, part three, but who knows? But we're going to go down the line. I'm making segments. But so far, we got the roof off, the shingles, and the solar panels are off right now. But I still have, I'm still up and running though. Those panels are up and running. Those side panels aren't producing much, but they're, they're producing something to keep my batteries charged. And my other panels on the back side are producing something. And I have the other solar pole mount that are producing power. But this is where we're at right now. And bare bone roof. And we got rotten plywood on this side too. Rotten plywood. As you can see, that's not hard to picture. That's not hard to figure out there. That's rotten. So, yep, we're gonna replace everything that needs replacing. So, I'm not a when I put the roof on. I'm gonna, not a professional roofer, but I'm having the guys. You can't beat a guy, a man in their own trade. All right. So, and we're gonna put a solar attic fan up here pretty soon. On the other, on the north side of the, of the roof, and have that point toward the south. So that's gonna be pretty wild. So, just want to give you all some extreme updates on what's going on. All right, I'll, I'll come to the back side of the building here in the, right now. Okay, y'all bear with me. Okay, right now we have the solar panels. Everything's disconnected. Except for those two back panels right there. They're still connected and they're making some power. And the clean roof. I'm going to run everything in conduit this time to a professional. Because um, it's, it's a certified electrical outfit also. So, and we got all my solar panels 
are right here, leaning up against the fence. That is like uh, 11, shoot, that's like 10 panels right there. All lined up, ready to go back up. So yeah, we're, we're rolling y'all, we're rolling. All the racking systems, everything's gonna be completely different. So I'm producing a whole lot more power. So there we go. It's going good, going good so far. Okay, y'all, I will get back with you on updates. So y'all hold tight. Y'all take it easy now. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. All right, over and out. Okay, right now we are cutting the hole for the solar attic fan. It's cutting a square. Then it's going to go back and cut it around with the uh, jigsaw. So that's going to work out super. See it around the hole? There we go. So I got that traced out for the solar attic fan. So I get plenty of ventilation. And we're using a natural light 20 watt solar attic fan. Now he's cutting a hole for the uh, round hole for the solar attic fan. This has got to be a round hole. It's like 14 inch. We'll come back. I guess you're cutting it out. Solar fans, attic fans are like the bomb. All the, uh, all the, uh, the, uh, suck all the hot air out of there and help protect the roof for many more years to make it last a long time. There's a hole for the solar attic fan. There we go. Pretty work. Oh yeah, nothing like it. That's where a solar attic fan will be. Okay folks, I'll catch you back here in a little bit. All right, bye bye. Okay y'all, we're here today Again, yeah, IQ Construction it stands for Intelligence Quality Construction. My buddy JJ and his boys, men, doing a heck of a job. Right now they're putting ice and mortar shield down and preparing for the shingles. This is the north side of the building. They're doing a heck of a job. And that stuff is sticky. And it's hot today. It's about 90 degrees out here right now. I could take the check around for the other side of the building and see how they're doing. All right. Okay, y'all. We are on the south facing roof uh, where they put the ice and water shield to get everything prepared. There she is. Now they're doing the ridge. That's that's what you need when you want to put a good solar panel roof down. Good stuff. 
And they got here around 8 o'clock this morning, and they're rolling. All the shingles tore off, solar, solar panels off. Uh, got all the solar panels off, and all the plywood repaired and fixed. Now they got the, now they're putting ice and water shield down. And it's about 2.30 in the afternoon. So they are rolling. And uh, they are laying that stuff down, doing a great job. So yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty psyched. So that's gonna be about a three-day job. But it's gonna be done right. Even though I've got them panels, all of them down, um, I'm still producing about 500 watts right now, power. Um, that's not too bad. And yes, the, the two side, the two pole mounts. That one right there, and this one right here. We're still producing 500 and some watts, plus those two right there. And the back side's not getting much sun right now. It's getting a little bit. They're producing a little bit. But anyway, they're putting the ridge on right now with ice and water shield. Yeah, I put the solar panels up uh, five years ago. I never planned on replacing the roof anytime soon, but this is probably the last time I have to get to replace the roof. This is a 35-year roof we're putting on. I'm using Owens corn shingles, too. But you want a good roof around this area because you'll never know ice storm, hurricanes, all that kind of stuff. You want everything to be more more than code. You want better than code. So, got a good membrane up there now. And at the base right there, where the meat's coming up where the flatter part of the roof is, right in there. That's where the flatter roof meets the steeper roof. They double layered the ice and water shield. For, you know. So that's going pretty good. Yep, it's pretty sturdy sight. Protective layer. There. there they go. Right here. Oh, I was talking to my daughter. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. Anyway, y'all, we'll get back to later on and see what's up. All right, y'all have a good one. We'll be back again.